hi guys good morning what's up i popped in here for some time to give you like a brief um a little intro on what this vlog is gonna be about um as the title suggests i am going on the supermodel of the year set uh, for all of you who do not know a few years ago i was um, on this show on mtv called india's next top model and we had judges like anusha dandekar so in supermodel of the year she is a host and we just went to the set and caught up with her i also caught up with miss ujwala raut who's so beautiful you'll see uh, during the entire vlog so yeah i just wanted to give you some context on what is happening in this vlog um i am not allowed to mention the term intm anymore it's just for legal reasons so i'm going to refrain from doing that uh, so yeah this is a brand new show with brand new rules this is the first season it's called supermodel of the year it's on mtv um i will leave all the information down below so you can catch up on the show so yeah in this vlog i'm visiting the set and just showing you around and showing you the contestants and also showing you um just like chatting with ujwala and anusha and just getting an insight on their lives and what's happening on the show it is really really exciting it's not your typical vlog it's it's like a chat show it's a very very long one hour vlog which you're going to enjoy okay so yeah that's just a little brief so now let's quickly jump into the vlog <laughs> What's up guys we're in the cab and on the way to Mud Island super far with me is Veronica who's woken up at 6 I guess and yeah. done her makeup doing makeup in the morning is quite yeah cuz your eyes are swollen your face is puffy and you're doing like foundation in the dark it's just not cool <laughs> cuz you don't want to wake up anybody so it's going to the bathroom yeah. and doing their makeup oh. so that was the scene i had with me What's up, guys? <laughs> I'm having my cold ass coffee. Yeah, it's cold. It's cold and sugary and tastes of oh home and water. Don't eat it. We are at the supermodel of the year house. I can't believe it. I'm here after five years. Oh my god! Let me show you what this is at. What this is, girl, supermodel of the year, MTV. Damn. I'm back home where it all began dude where you guys all know me from actually uh we're going to enter the villa now in a bit talk to the judges see some contestants look at the vanity vans they're all right there <laughs> it's too early i think everyone's like asleep or some shit look mtv baby dude <laughs> getting a little bit of goosebumps you know because this is like 5 years ago man where has life taken me from then to now it's unbelievable Okay. Hello. 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 We have already turned off the AC, so that's there's no perfect. sound for you. That's perfect. My name is Malzika. Look who I'm sitting next to. Oh my God, this is my heart is beating at a thousand. <laughs> She's beautiful. Is this in your way? Uh, no. You sure? Yeah, it's very candid. बहुत ही chill है. Oh my God, he's so beautiful. <laughs> I can't stop looking at her. She's gorgeous. But you know, I'm very superstitious. You're gonna keep saying I'm gonna pop with some pimple. Like I don't other. say that. Yeah. Acha, please don't say that. Okay, we won't say. So it. you look at you. Hey. You have flawless skin and Thank hair you. and features and oh. everything. That she's saying it. She's saying it. It's on camera. I did say it, so you can believe me. You heard me saying. Oh my god, my hands are like cold and stuff. I'm a total fan girl. Um, I have so many questions for you, but super candid. Start, start, start. As you, I'll say. answer all your questions. Hena? Yeah. Okay. Firstly, how does it feel being like a judge, a fashion expert on Supermodel? Of course, it feels amazing feels because you've like huh? busted your ass for so many yeah. years to get to that point. I agree. And you don't 
No, because you keep working, you keep working because work comes and you're happy and you're working in all the countries and around the world. Yeah. But then something comes that is like so big and great. It just adds to it. I can't imagine. I and obviously, you know, now that I'm a mother to a 14 year old. Yes. It's like. I'm at a point where I cannot be doing too many too, yeah, <laughs> flights and too many shows and too many work. But it's yeah. but it's awesome to be still be wanted. I agree with you. Oh my god, that feeling must be something else, even after so many years. And which brings me to my next question. I really wanted to ask you, how do you feel? Do you think the industry has changed from when you started to now? Like what's of the course it's changed. Is everything has changed yeah, because everything has become now so competitive and everyone is so aware and everybody knows exactly what they want to huh. do like we had no idea we, we used to, we were like thrown in the things and your parents are like parents are like just education is the only thing and you have to be doctors and lawyers and this and that oh so, my god so it was all about education Correct. and now you realize like there is so much more in creativity and hmm. doing other stuff than Correct. just getting a degree because yeah, sometimes yeah. you don't even know where you will end up with having a degree Correct. So but no it works like hmm. I, I i'm my daughter still wants to do law and I love sitting and studying with her because Dude. there are many things that I missed out on. Maybe I was sleeping in the classroom, <laughs> <laughs> more or less like that. So I'm like, wait, this is like that? This is so easy? Huh. And, you know, maybe because she's studying American Good. system, Good. so the things are explained better or the math is somehow just looks easy over there. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> but we do have a lot of interest mm. in many other things. And things change, things evolve. Absolutely. Like, we, like I feel I'm more right. into now because I didn't get to complete my education yeah. fully, and I started working at 17 and wow. living in Paris and stuff. So it's like there are things that I wanted to, I want to do that I didn't get to do when I was young, and there Got are things it. like kids are young that they don't don't want to do now, and they want to do things Agreed. that we would be doing as an adult. Yeah, so yeah, you know, yeah. everything has changed. There is so much more out there. It does confuse you. I feel. Yeah. That's why it's good to have parents that are like, no, just do this and just do that. Huh. <laughs> Somehow it's easier. So I feel like, okay. you know, for me also with modeling, it was like, no, you go to Paris, you work there, you go to New York. Huh. It was like all told by my agents and sorted out. Yeah. So it was kind of easier to just easier. Okay. follow your follow schedule. Direction. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think if you don't have the schedule, then I don't know, you place. could be like really, really lost. And that yeah, is no, more scary for me. Very, very scary. That is more scary for me. Oh, okay, because there's now so much out there that your brains can be just you could be here and there and everywhere you don't know where to be yeah when it comes to makeup though did you do your own makeup back in the day because my mom was a model back in the day okay uh, in Dubai she was and she used to tell me I used to do like I used to do my own makeup and all she used to put the rouge the blush yes we and did too many that. times our own makeup because sometimes you know back then there was only one makeup artist they didn't have that many assistants so yeah so we, we would just start our own foundation and slowly we would build to getting eyes done to the blush and then we're like we're ready so <laughs> we she used to do your own make can you believe this like knowing to do your own makeup is another whole thing because but know, it's not that difficult if you have really good skin and good yeah, features it's not that it's difficult, not that Guys, difficult. See. It's, it's a very it's it's a talent to have if you can Absolutely. do your own makeup very well i agree with you i agree like you need to know how to do a little bit because it gives you that like you know at least something to fall back on you can be ready before everyone else like i remember like when i in fact i was in the first cycle of uh, you know a long long time ago on a show and I did the same thing I used to do my own makeup and be ready you know and they used to be like oh my god like how did she know makeup and on all shows in fact I used to do runway but it's not that difficult I mean, I mean, many if people find it damn tough and all how do you pick this how do you I think you just need to know basics you know, yeah the, the basics and if you know your face very well like I know my face really well correct and you know exactly what to highlight and for me even just little blush and curling eyelashes it mascara and lip does balm the job takes you a long way yeah I'd I rather do. be more natural than look more fake and dumb. okay okay so you like a more like softer look so you like eyes or you like lips what's your favorite like part lips lip mine too I love I, I'm have. good with just curling my eyelashes and going. Even to take out the mascara, I have to see something that where I don't have to consume so much time taking out the makeup. How I can come quickly home and go to sleep and get yeah. more sleep yeah. is yeah. always on, on my mind. mind. Then okay. thinking like I should go home and then take off the face, like the makeup, and it hurts after a while, <laughs> your face. Yeah, because you do so much and right? you have to cleanse your Like face. even on the show, I'm like, please don't. 
touch me up ha every now and then yeah. just when they are ready to shoot <laughs> come and do the retouch because that? it hurts you yeah. like i don't know i'm i've just no, always been over sensitive with no. my hair and my skin yeah when they keep so touching your hair and you're like later <laughs> so i'm just very sensitive like yeah. i hate being touched i got that i understand that very well um so before you go to bed do you do like a whole routine or you're just like one zero i do don't tell me <laughs> after that also the skin is like glass marble skin she has how <laughs> eat well eat well drink sleep well. okay don't smoke don't drink uh if you drink i drink very little wine like occasionally like yeah three sips is good enough ha, for perfect. me perfect uh i was never into never got into that uh i sleep a lot moisturize a lot yeah and i, I on top of that only use pharmacy creams i don't even use any expensive creams which might not be good for the brands that i'm saying this <laughs> the camera <laughs> no but like, perfectly whatever wait a second like why is she killing our product but no but that's amazing everyone has their own thing now when they grow up they've always had this one brand one product they've stuck to their entire actually life. i grew up with no products have you and look at her skin we grew Girl. up with nothing like What no brands back nothing then? yeah back in the day nothing i used to put coconut oil my banana lips chat coconut my mom would put us coconut yeah, oil absolutely. coconut oil in hair, hair. that took us a long way um and we didn't even have lotion yeah. or anything because you'd never even thought about that so just food a lot of nuts oh my god we ate a lot of ghee i i eat ghee day in and day out i can eat even ghee. till today yes i only cook everything in ghee and cook no, it all my mom is going to flip okay no it's it's really yeah, really because good she keeps you. telling me ghee is so good ghee is so good i'm like no mom but dude ghee is oh, the oh, best i think i should now <laughs> but i spend like i really take good care internally i love food yeah I'm a big foodie. Don't think. I didn't know. I believe you. I one hundred percent believe you. Trust me. I love to eat. I live to eat. I Achha. eat a lot of fish. I don't eat a lot of meat. Ha. I don't Take eat care. a lot of like chapati and roti. Ha, and no. I'm a very rice person. I eat rice like See every you. day. I'm so excited. But nuts, ghee, coconut oil, avocado oil, olive oils. You know that's wow, like lots really of internally uh, yes products. That is that. So do you have like a workout routine? Like, I do yoga. and then when i feel that uh, you know i've been eating mm. a lot then Achha. i do some then i do cardio ha and mm. of course i have a very active life in new york really yeah because we walk everywhere a lot. we go to supermarkets we go for dinners Absolutely. and this and everywhere we walk wow. and we want to get somewhere so, so that know, helps keep you fit yes and then my with my daughter doing her sports like gymnastics and ballet and just gymnastics track yes Oh my god. So that keeps me even more active. Oh that is amazing. Like I am so like in you know, oh I'm just looking at him just like with no skincare routine. Uh a lot of food. And Actually I so have nice. to do some skincare because Forever. I live in New York and the winter is very brutal. So cream, na. So it's a lot of moisturizing. Moisturizing, lot of uh, because in winter sometimes hmm. you don't want to drink water. You don't get thirsty. Correct. So you have to make a point to drink water. To make sure mm. you hydrate yourself, sleep a lot. Um sometimes I just want to hibernate because it's too cold or yuck outside. I'm waking up in the morning and going for yoga. I had to so I have to because my daughter goes to school at 7, mm. so so, so I have to be up at 6:30. I then I make her breakfast. Yeah, what's your favorite kind of breakfast? I love breakfast. I can It's my favorite meal of the day. I I cannot live without breakfast. It's like last night we got so late ah. shooting so I just didn't even eat proper dinner but I did have two big lunches. So I so am similar. a big foodie. I eat everything. I agree with you. I'm I believe you. Trust me, I believe you. Like I eat a lot of stuff, a lot of Tabasco and everything I eat. Love eggs, love toast. Not so with egg. junk. Mm. But my evening routine or or thing with my daughter is like to have chai biscuit. Oh my god! So it's the still or the desi thing only chai or biscuit. <laughs> That is so cool. It's so cool because yeah. you know it's like I don't know in the evening. But but we do eat early dinners because huh. she goes to bed by right. nine, and then sometimes yeah. I'm in bed by ten because right. I'm so exhausted. Yeah. from doing breakfast lunch snack dinner breakfast lunch snack dinner just <laughs> sometimes that my, that's my life i'm like wait i just made breakfast and now, <laughs> now I'm lunch? lunch and now i have to like wait for a bit do some work and then get back to making dinner more super But she helps me a lot yeah she is a lot of interest in cooking uh so wow. we somehow act sometimes we act like we are doing a cooking show <laughs> no way you should yeah. record all this we don't record we just act 
actors we are doing a cooking show like we are talking and we are very full on entertaining at home very all the time because she speaks full marathi hindi really yes oh my god the accent does she have an accent now? she goes from accents to accents accents to accents, yeah, accents, accents. To accents. nice she will change according to who is in front of that's her that's good no very fluid and yeah of course and and also she does french and spanish wow gymnastics french spanish like every she's an all rounder man so i have to keep up with all keep that. up with all of that cuz it's so fun <laughs> including fascinating. with my work yeah i also we're almost here to the end one few more questions about the show actually are you like excited about the contestants or big i am very excited about the girls i think yeah. they have great potential some of them okay they have been very good mm-hmm. uh they're gorgeous some of them really? oh, i don't know if you've seen them i haven't seen them yet i'm yet to meet them okay they're really really excited that i'm here mentoring them absolutely. and teaching them and they're getting to learn from somebody that's very good uh, absolutely not that i'm not saying that i'm no, not no, great people please don't be honest taking tips from you is the <laughs> ultimate i think they're so lucky but i'm like just be yourself do your yeah. thing also have a mind of your own just don't follow everything that is told to you uh and they're really nailing it they're taking they're direction doing... well and mm-hmm. oh my god that is exciting do you i don't want to ask this but do you have a favorite i'm going to ask everyone <laughs> You do you think someone has like major potential and you know what i mean like see everyone has the potential in their own way ha huh. they have to yeah, know how strength. to market it how Correct. to capture yeah. it how to get going with it correct because there are many times there are very pretty girls huh. and they don't make it anywhere got it because it's not just about the looks, the looks. it's about the brains it's about having the how right attitude yeah. having being smart being courteous being kind being humble absolutely. there are so many things that absolutely. comes in picture because it's not just one thing that you need it's, it's you need to have everything an all rounder yeah and you know sometimes you can like something about someone so i'm not a kind of person that is like oh she's my favorite Absolutely. you have to give everyone a fair, fair chance bit. yeah and, and allow them to work on their strength and also they're not somebody that professional that, yeah, that knows learning. things in and out yeah so for me it's just making sure that i am fair to each one of them and then they take that and make it of their own and what what they want to do with it that's their choice absolutely like this is great for all of you guys who are aspiring models because i get texts all the time what does it take to be a model what does it take to be a great model and i think that covers all of it you need to be like sort of an all rounder not just looks you guys like you can work on the kind of person you are and stuff i think that is great thank you so much thank uh thank you. you for this has been amazing i can't believe this <laughs> moment has come is unreal for me to be honest with you uh because i've also been a model matlab i used to when i was 18 i was going to ask Did you did the model ha huh, i used to do a lot of runway shows then i became a blogger yeah and then i became a blogger because i just found my love uh, in the camera i just found uh, makeup to be my passion actually i enjoyed it so much more because i'm not very very tall so i think i i hit the But mark there ha lekin utna nahi to i hit the mark there a little bit uh, i used to do a lot of runway shows and then i found uh, makeup it's exhausting right it's exhausting that's what i'm saying What? you know you can be a model but you can just get tired and fed up yeah. and you can start losing your yeah glow and charm and that's when you start getting irritated yep. and snappy and stuff yep. like that and that's when people are like okay you know they just stay away from this it's person very hard. so it's a lot of yeah. things that that's why i think i'm so glad that i have this option where i can go be, be with my daughter do my stuff do my yoga do my food do my super mom uh, family yeah. my sister that i've you know sisters four five four sisters so we are very busy and we are our kids have very active lives which is they all live in US so you know we have we have like, a full life yeah so i switch on and off roles right so amazing yeah so basically that that was my journey and now i decided but i still remember like i can i wish like i had all these tips when i was starting out back then it would help a lot so but see even i didn't get any ah don't see i heard like so, so that's what i'm you know saying I mean? like you have to have a mind of your own and, yeah. and see what is what works for you what doesn't work for you because you cannot be told each and everything yeah. in life you yeah. have to figure it out figure it out yeah that's how you did it the tough way you know that's how it is we had to yes. i mean the, the, but told. now i feel like it's even more insane because there is so much out there that you can be like what is you can be lost, be lost. Yeah. like we grew up 
we had no social media we had zero social media i know we had no oh magazines God. to look at no references so we just did our own thing and i guess we were and we you were figured creative it out. yeah and we were funny and we made everything work and we worked with everybody and we made sure that everybody had their inputs yeah so it was like a teamwork Correct. and we all had fun yeah and we all would just travel i remember how smaller groups used to be and when we used to travel to go everywhere together and do like this big big campaigns yeah. and there were never like 100 huh. people and stuff there yeah. would be like four five and we would get everything done and come back and it would be like so amazing so intimate <laughs> you know what the team used to be so close knit because it was just a few exactly, of you exactly exactly yeah. so everybody like asked each other for her like what to do what not to do and and some makeup artists were like oh my god you have such good skin you don't need any foundation let's just do the eyes so you yeah. learn like that yeah that wait i don't need this i don't have to look like everyone i don't need so much you know my hair can be like this can be like that and i was never into like coloring and this and that because got it when you're working all the time you need some time just thing you want to think about chill out yeah Absolutely. Oh my god, this has been great you guys. That's all we have. That's all the time we have. Thank you so much for thank you, thank you, on thank my you. channel. Bye guys. Oh, thank you. I can talk to you like all day. Like sit and listen to your stories. <laughs> I loved it. I'm going to leave you be. Relax, take your time because you have Ariana Grande. Oh yeah. My daughter loves her. Yeah. She's so pretty, right? She is pretty. She's so gorgeous. Things well talented all of it. Yeah, yeah, I love her. wearing her right now <laughs> i know because of my daughter i've discovered ariana grande taylor swift katy perry who is that Katie one direction perry. one one direction fanatic i am katy perry singing them this morning yeah while getting ready yeah 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 i get that all these new uh, you know up and coming pop stars i'm sure you must be listening to all of this then one day she comes to me she's like this post malone yeah like mm. mom <laughs> you know uh there is pre malone there is mid malone there is post malone and then there is water malone <laughs> where do you come up with these things and where do you water find them and it's just hilarious when kids put it that, that way so i'm like she has a great humor that's funny. i always tell her you should do stand up comedy I mean that's so cool stand up comedy. Oh shit, that's amazing. <laughs> Do really want to hope I see her someday, meet her someday. Yeah. New York, right? Yeah, mostly I'm in New York too. Where in New York do you live? Don't film there. Yeah, 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 it's the same thing. But I think all the cities are like that. Really? Especially. Yeah. I think it's best to go on the outskirts, like Jersey. No, Jersey. I'm like wait. Now you have three more years of high school. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be living full time in New York either. Oh yeah, you're also going to be like traveling. Back yeah, because when she goes to college, I don't you want to be stuck the there in that winter. Yeah, so you'll be it's traveling. Like miserable. It's so yeah, cold. It's like six, nine miserable. months of six cold. to nine months. Yeah, we get literally like three months of summer, and this whole summer it just bloody rained. Can be depressing, Aunt Oda. Yeah, yeah, like, really depressing. Like seeing grey skies all the time. December to. April is quite miserable. December to April that's, that's a long time. That yeah. is like 5 months. 5 months. And that to like looking at the bright side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't imagine. I hate the cold. Are you a winter person somewhere? Not at all. I was I'm born in summer. Beach baby. So like June. Beach baby, ha. Huh? Beach baby, na. You love the beaches more than the mountains or do you like the mountains better than beaches? I like both but I just don't like to be in a miserable winter when it's it. raining and snowing and slushy. You have to cover and everything your and nose is up. It's grey like at 4 o'clock. Yeah, I hate yeah. that. I If agree. there was sunshine, I would be okay. Ha, sunshine more is more okay. Cuz my name means brightness. Oh, sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> so I like more I'm a more like a bright person. Brighter person. Yeah, it's true. Amazing. So good, yeah! Amazing to meet you, man. I can remember this moment of my life. Let's take a photo. All right, you guys. So you just saw that amazing talk with Ujwala. She is so beautiful. I can keep talking to her like all day. She's so smooth to talk to. Wasn't she like the best? Oh my God! All her tips and tricks of just growing up so important, you guys. I hope you all caught all of that because every word that came out of her was gold. Gold. This is we're talking about the first supermodel. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. So now we're going.
going to the lounge to chill with the contestants. I don't know them, so I'm getting to know them. Let's see what they're up to. Supermodel of the year. I'm going to enter. Yeah, come, come. She's going to come with the reality. Yeah, I think I should also give an entry. Sorry, I'm gonna be noisy and disturb you all. What's up? Hi, Malvika. I'm Yukti. Yukti, nice to meet you. Look how pretty. <laughs> oh my god. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Are... <laughs> Hi. Hi. What's your name? Rima. Rima. Oh my god, doing makeup? Yes. So beautiful, smoky eye. I can see that. Loving it. Thanks. Yes, <laughs> I love it. I love her blog. She knows me, dude. <laughs> oh, thank God. I was like, I don't know anyone. I don't want to go in there. I love her contour. I love her, contour. I love her uh, lips. I love mm. everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a little fan girl here also, dude. Yeah. Oh my God, guys, look. Yeah. This is... Oh, oh, all the memories are coming back. Oh, you know, in a her uh, vlog, she always contacted me. Oh, and the best part. Highlight. Highlight. Highlight, yeah. highlight is also my, my best favorite. My favorite. My favorite. You need body to highlight her. Maybe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Perfect. They know how it's done. Yeah, they know makeup. After ke bache, sab pata hai. Yes, mommy. <laughs> yes, mommy. <laughs> Let's not disturb people who are sleeping because I don't want to get in the way. Let's see if we can meet some other people. Hi. 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 My name Hi. is Malvika. Yeah, I know. I have seen you. Oh, she knows me. Yeah. What's your Hello. name? My name is Manila. Manila. Hi. Hi. You're so beautiful. I'm feeling so tender. Oh my God. I'm very up. And how's it? So far, are you enjoying it? Yeah, actually, I'm really enjoying it, and it's my first time in such kind of like being in such kind of platform. Okay. So it's really amazing, and it's a nice experience actually. How about the judges? Tell me, who's your favorite judge? It's okay. Who's your like most preferred judge? Actually, there are three judges as of now. Um, um, Ujwala ma'am, um, yeah. Malaika ma'am, and Anisha ma'am, Milan sir, and yeah. Masaba ma'am. Yeah. And they all are really good in good their own you. way. Correct. And I like them all. They are very good. It's a very diplomatic answer. I like them all. I like them all. I like them all. I like them all. You understand everyone's good face. You know what I mean? I know what that is, you guys. Answered very well. Set ki awaaz aari hai bahut. This is how it is, guys. Hustle bustle everywhere. People are getting their hair and makeup. What's Hi. up? <laughs> the set is being set right now. So what kind of hairstyle are you doing today? So um, I have done a Dutch braid from the back and then I'm gonna bun it. Oh wow, I love Dutch braids. Thanks. My favorite dude. <laughs> shooting with Anusha now <laughs> we have just a few more minutes with her five ten minutes because the shoot has started and I know how it is on set it gets really really you know uh, tight the schedule is very packed and the directors need you on set you have to be on time so I get it uh, so yeah we're just gonna take five ten minutes of her really quickly because I want to catch up with her dude it's been a while you know um, so yeah waiting for her to get ready so we can go into the van. Hi! Hi! Hi. How are you? Amazing. 
can't believe you're a, a blogger. A blogger? Is that what you call it now? Yeah. Yeah. Can you believe how long you believe it? In? I know. You look so good. Okay, I'm going to eat a little eat bit. Eat now. Please okay. eat. Yeah, of course. Like, this is like dumb super candid. This is for my YouTube channel. Uh, so it's very relaxed. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's no interview and all. It's <laughs> just <laughs> chat. Mm-hmm. So, oh, so they're shooting on this and this? Yeah. That's my stories. That's yeah. my YouTube channel. Page, page. That's Veronica, my manager, and that's my brother. Veronica. I was in touch with Hansika for oh. the longest time. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. really? Yes. Yeah. That's my little brother. She's Jay. very difficult. Hi, Jay. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. So now you're working with your sister, huh? Yeah. Does she yes, boss you around? Company. Does she boss you around? No. It doesn't oh. matter. Actually, she doesn't a lot. It doesn't matter if you have your own company. Yeah, she yeah. rules your company. No. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I do my own shooting. I didn't need a little and it's like are you a older? third person. Yeah, I am. He's only 19. Are yeah, no, ask him. I have one. I know. And I am one. Very so I know. <laughs> oh, so I've been both the cars. Very nice. Mm -hmm. See, I have an older brother also. So my brothers don't name. count. Brothers and sisters. Really? Are different. different. Mm. I've never had a sister, so yeah, it might be very. How is it actually with sisters? I, do you all gel like a lot? Oh. We can gel and clash all at the same time. Sister, it's like a, a turbulent airplane ride. <laughs> <laughs> Never know which way it's gonna go. <laughs> oh my god, so then it's the typical sisters mm -hmm. fight and love Lives. each other to death. Love each other to death. So it could be like many crash landings, but then survival. But always there for each other. All the ways. That is a, that's a relationship I crave, man. Like, what do you mean? Me. Jake, are you not there for your sister? All I the time. I mean, there. he's holding a camera for you. He's Come the on. best brother ever. But you know what I mean? Like, sister Big love. Up, Jake. different. Sister love is different. So I've always wanted a brother. Huh? Because I'm a tomboy. Acha. Most of the time. So I want to hang out with my brother. Huh? But I don't have that. Yeah. So... I think my dad thought I was the boy because, <laughs> you know, he didn't have an option. <laughs> well, always asked me to come and play golf with him and I'm like, oh my god. Okay, one second dad. So I'm going to hit a ball and then I'm going to go look for it and I'm going to hit it again until it gets into a small hole. No, it sounds pointless. Idea. No, I never played. It was <laughs> such a pointless game. Sorry, I put it in my mouth. But it's okay. I'm just saying. No disrespect to golf lovers because my dad is obsessed and yeah. everyone says that if you play golf it'll change your life. Absolutely, yeah, I've heard that too. I feel like I'll wait till I'm a certain age. I agree, you know, one of those deep dogs, yeah. finished life, and you just really want to finish life. It. Sorry, finish life. Sorry, Dad. Finish life. Hustle, hustle, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You lay down no, but then do that to unwind in huh. the hustle bustle. So. Ah, so it could be either or then. Mm -hmm. But I, I just see. feel like tennis is more my. Tennis? Mm, I like, not that wow. I ever played anymore, but I loved playing tennis. Mm. Mm. Swimming is fun. I'm just interviewing myself, but I'm just. I <laughs> love that. I love that. I'm just like, yes. talk to myself. All the questions no, exactly okay. what I wanted to. Um, <laughs> How is it being a host? Do you um, love it? I love it because I can talk endlessly, as you've noticed. I have. Um, yes. <laughs> it's but, cute. <laughs> but um, I, I don't think I ever run out of things to say, unless yeah. you surprise me that badly, which means you must be really good. <laughs> um, but I think it's always been in me. I think my parents are so grateful somebody gave me a job, um, okay. and that too to do with talking. Yeah. So they're like, "Thank God somebody is paying you to talk." Because oh. my God, you've driven <laughs> us thing. crazy. <laughs> so imagine how much I used to talk when I was a child. My yeah. parents must have gone mental. <laughs> um, and so yeah, so it's kind of like just my second nature. Acha. So I think that's why you can last as a host if it's something that yeah. is within you. Agreed. And uh, when VJing was like a really big thing, yeah. um, I think all the VJs had that kind of personality where it doesn't matter what anyone's talking about, if you know how to be part of the conversation yeah. or inspire okay. uh, somebody, then yeah. you could get the job. Oh, so you're, you're pretty natural at it. I know, like, uh, what's your what's your favorite role though? Because you've been a VJ, model, also an entrepreneur. So, what's your favorite? You know, everyone asks me that. Uh, what, but what's it's the like, one you enjoyed the most? But it's like putting a kid in a candy store and then asking them to choose Which one candy. candy. That's oh, amazing. Way. That, you love your role. You love your job. Yeah. That's no, but you can't choose one because if I could. And then I would be okay to probably sit behind a desk also. Okay. But I'm so restless. Okay. And I have the attention span of a goldfish, which means six seconds. Everywhere. And I'm like, I'm sorry, sorry, did I need to go over here now? Like, I don't know. Oh, no, sorry, we're shooting this. You know, it's like that. I, I have no idea what I'm doing half the time. And it's amazing that I focus on anything in yeah. life. 
Um, so I need to be constantly doing, doing something. something. And when I go to the MTV office, even just for a meeting, I'm yeah. so bored. I'm like, I'm making such a ruckus to try and get everyone to be distracted, to like <laughs> do something more interesting yeah. in their life. And then I realized, oh my God, I was like that in school the whole time. Yeah. So I read my report cards. I went oh back to God. Australia. I have this little cupboard that yeah. has all my love letters. And I say love letters as popular. Yes, girl. <laughs> we can see that. <laughs> Add some like. And by the way, what boys used to write is so sweet and romantic. <laughs> what has happened? <laughs> WhatsApp happened. What's and it's like, happened? yo, want a date? No, buddy. No. <laughs> love letters. <laughs> that, like, what a love letter. Anyway. <clears throat> So I was 11 when I got my, uh, maybe nine when I got my first one, and then damn, yeah, uh, Michael. Oh, I can't name him. Sorry, guys. Like, yeah, that's it. Okay. Like, they start googling him. Right, <laughs> right. yeah. So no, it's fine. Michael, you know, you Google you know all Michael. the Michaels in the world. Anyway, so um, so I was going through all of that, and then my report cards were there, mm. and every report card was she's a distraction in class. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Oh, well, that hasn't stopped. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, uh, and, and like from kindergarten was like my purest. I was five and there was like, she's lovely and this and that. And then suddenly from the Something first happened. grade onwards, distraction, Viable. talkative, distraction, talkative. And it's like, well, maybe I found my voice. Yeah. You know? Why try to shut me down? <laughs> you couldn't. MTV gave me a job. <laughs> 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 By the way, I called MTV when I was in the 10th grade huh. for a job in Australia Whoa. and they weren't giving 10th grade because in Australia it's a mandatory thing that when you're in the 10th grade, you're 16 years old, you have to go out in the world and get a job Okay. for a week All right. and get employed and work there and that means you don't go to school for a week, which is amazing. Uh, yeah. um, and then come back and then they give you a progress report, like okay. whatever. I got hired. I, MTV said no because they don't tend to get 10th graders. So I said, what's the job that I can get that I'll just have fun? Yeah. So I did hairdressing because then they color my hair and stuff. So I could oh, do it all nice. for free. Smart. You've got to be smart about this thing. Yeah. But then they hired me and then I got stood up in assembly to, make an, to be made an example of. See how great she was? And she got employed and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> but I didn't want this job. I know. <laughs> but it's fine. Yeah, I know. Like Free hairstyles for a year. I was good. Was it my, my proms were done, sorted, yes. Oh my god. Okay, mm. so that has been a journey, like from mm -hmm. where to where. Yeah. Um, so cool. I'm very interested in knowing your beauty routine because I have a beauty channel. Oh! And I know you have a skincare line. I do. You know what? <laughs> I have my sunscreen here, but it's all faded because it's been like rot, like being used so much. Mithun, can you chuck me my CGG sunscreen, please? You want us closer? Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're like so far apart. Okay, it's all scratched right now, but this is how much I use. Okay, so yeah, please. Tell this us is actually my baby. So CGG Cosmetics came about when my manager and um, this guy named Parth, who mm -hmm. owns a cosme, uh, a cosme, a pharmaceutical company, his family does of uh, generations, so fifty years, and they came together and they discussed that they would like me to start a beauty line. Mm -hmm. And I've wanted to do it for so long, but you know, it's really scary to do that yeah. because if you don't get the balance of chemicals right, yeah. you burn someone's face off or something, yeah. right? And I didn't want to risk it if I'm not in partnership with somebody that I really trust. Yeah. So, Gaurav, my manager, who's Hansika's husband, yeah. um, we flew down to Ahmedabad, where okay. the factory is. Okay. Oh, Hamida has a problem with my hair. Okay. Is it fine yeah. now? Huh? Oh, please. It's it's fine. Please fix it. Yeah, this is Hamida. She's very uh, I love particular that. of my hair. Yeah, yeah. yeah she's just like a mum. <laughs> <laughs> if only my mum did this in school. She didn't. <laughs> did your mum ever give you a haircut when you were young? Oh, I got one of those. Did you get one of those? Did you get? Yeah. No. <laughs> it was like Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. Why does every mother think they're a hairstylist? No <laughs> yeah. one's asking you to do it. Nobody. They're so terrified to take you to a hairstylist. They're like, Let me so they know. decide to do it themselves, and like, and they're proud of their work. I think it's <laughs> it's very bizarre. Anyway, yeah. So um, we went to Ahmedabad. We checked out the factory. It was incredible. Wow. Like. The quality, the standards, the cleanliness was just by far, and you had to wear the whole suit. Yeah. So we went and saw how the factory was working, and this was the first time 
he was going to do something in beauty on his own okay. as well, my partner, mm -hmm. Barth. So all of us decided to team up together and I named it CGG because I wanted it to represent something. So it stands for clean, mm -hmm. green, gorgeous. And that's the three things that I want to believe in. Clean skin, green <coughs> as much as we can, and gorgeous is how you're supposed to feel. And this in particular, so I named all the products, so Skinny Dip, Sunshine nice. Kid, mm. or Power Girl, um, Power Girls for the Vitamin C, and they were just kind of names that I wanted um, girls to feel kind of inspired and a little like confident yeah. about, you know? Yeah. And also easy. So you know when you go beauty shopping, mm -hmm. there's all these brands and you never understand what they actually do for mm -hmm. your skin, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Like I have no clue. So when I named it Power Girl, I just wanted to tell you it gives you power to your skin because that's what vitamin C does. Got it. Skinny Dip was for the hyaluronic acid because when you go skinny dipping, if you ever imagine it, which by the way I went the other day, uh, not the other day, like a month ago, um, How was it? with Garen. Yeah, yeah. Scandalous. How was um, it? Garen, my best friend, we just ran into the ocean at three in the morning. Please don't oh, try this yeah. if you cannot swim. We can swim. We're very good swimmers. Oh, no, in Bali. I have Please, to. Be. Yeah, I'm like, what are you like in some private <laughs> beach or something? Beach, yeah. No, not Juhu, yeah. yeah. Um, in Bali. Yeah, in Bali. I, yeah, I've been on a nude beach, but yeah. no, no, no. We, skinny dipping is It was different. just three in the morning, there's nobody there. Um, and you just very dangerous, guys. Don't do it if you can't swim. Yeah, we ran and we decided, let's just do it because I wanted to be true to my brand. Yeah. I wanted to know if I'm saying skinny dip, how does it feel? So I did it and it was amazing. So if you picture yourself naked in a really beautiful temperature ocean yeah. or even cold and you dip down and come up, it's like the most refreshing feeling. God. That's how hyaluronic acid is supposed to make your skin feel. And God. then Sunshine Kid was for the kid in every one of us who loves to play in the sun. Okay. And so I wanted to um, make this one in particular. This was my invention. Okay. So when you have sunscreen, okay, either you're at the beach or you're, you know, wherever, mm -hmm. getting on a bus, a train, mm -hmm. it's hectic, whatever, and your hands are always dirty, right? Got it. And so imagine putting sunscreen on that same germy ah, hand and ah. then rubbing it on your face, right? You yeah. can't keep touching you up. You can't keep touching up. Because you'll have to find a sink to wash your hands or whatever. And let me tell you guys that, uh, what is it? Um... Sanitizer. sanitizer it, it makes me feel a bit gross because imagine sticky, yeah. your dirt is already and you're there. just you're just rubbing it dirt in, all over it, all around at least use a wipe or something I don't know it's weird so yeah. anyway so these were all the things and then on the beach sand when you're trying to rub lotion on you've got sand bits in you so then it becomes this weird exfoliator <laughs> which is not really good for your face so if you open this, this you think that it's going to be milky but it's not, because look at the texture. Oh dear. Can't even see it. So I can even spray it on my face right now. I want to take this home. You can have it. Like, I, yeah, all of it, because I've heard so much about it. I am like dying so to try it. even this. on shoots. On shoots, just this I can put over my makeup. Over makeup? A sunscreen over makeup? Yeah, like that's Okay, I've never heard I, of that. I do this it's every day. It's underneath makeup. And I put it, yeah, exactly. I can put it over my makeup and just I straight won't budge, it won't budge. It won't budge. It won't budge. And this was like why I loved this product so much and it's selling really well. It's called Sunshine Kid, but we have other stuff like, okay, so I'm really against fairness creams. Same. Okay, so I wanted to make it really important also that every girl in our country knows that whatever you're brown, it's beautiful. So that's my tagline, that. right? So whatever you're brown, it's beautiful. And we have a D10 uh, exfoliator but we wanted to make it very clear that there is no such thing that will make, make your you skin mm. whiter, mm. okay? It can only even out your skin tone. So we, we call, that. I called it Even Steven. Ah. Because, you know, we used to say that as kids, like, yeah. yes, Even Steven, be Even Steven, whatever. So that's what we wanted your skin to I be. I love that. I so love if that. your skin is um, patchy from like tan marks and stuff, use the Even Steven. Do, so it'll just go back to your brow. I love that. I yeah. love that. Like I, I used to think about this all the time. Like right. whenever I heard about fairness creams and yeah. any brand would ask me to promote a fairness yes. cream, my instant answer is no, firstly. Same. I do not do Good. that. Good for you. Um, I was like, why isn't there a product that helps you enhance your natural color? Yes. There you go. There, there you go. So all of our products are only to bring out your beautiful brow. 
and enhance your glow and uh, make your skin better and healthier mm. we are not promoting any kind of whitening because there's no such thing and please understand that if any cream promises you that they're lying because the only thing they can put in that cream is bleach yeah. and that's so bad for your skin so, bad for skin. Um, so please don't use that yeah that's really good um, are we done for time mm. no we're good <laughs> Um, what's your skincare routine? What's your nighttime routine? Do you have like a proper three-step routine? No, I just use uh, so now I'm obsessed with CGG so I'm I pretty much just use that every yeah. day So for me my favorites are the vitamin C during the day or I switch it up to hyalur hyaluronic acid So the skinny dip or the pal girl or in the nights I use the serums mm. um, before I go to sleep because I have the serums in yeah. all of those as well um and uh, I'm just a big serum and moisturizer yep. user. Are you dry skin? So yes, I'm a, I'm actually a two type skin, mm. um, two tone. So a little bit dry and a T zone is a little bit oily, oily. sometimes. Mm. But if you're going to use serum, please to about two to three drops in a moisturizer, okay? Yep. And then rub it in your hand a little bit, and then you know you should actually just dab it on your face first, and then in circular motions. Put it all over your face, but I think the most important to remember is your under eyes. They're the most sensitive part yeah. of your skin and thinnest part of your skin. Yeah. So, which is why people get dark circles, um, wrinkles, yes. you know, sags um, under their eyes. But it's because they're so insensitive yeah. to the under eyes. Yeah. So when people are putting on makeup, oh my god, it like scares me sometimes because they're like pulling the sponge no, like no, this no, no. and I'm like it's always what are you dab doing? always dab but they also do one thing when they're taking off their makeup they're like so rough aggressive on the skin so please like one of my favorite um, brands to use as a makeup remover eye makeup remover is actually Neutrogena okay yeah um, I don't go for the expensive stuff uh, even Clinique is good too the balm yeah the, the balm and balm. even the eye makeup remover it's lipstick and eye makeup yeah but those two are really good um, because they're really soft and they don't burn your eyes which yeah. is so important so you can put like a load on and nothing will happen to your eyes um, so that's how I'd remove it. But the most important thing to do is when you're putting on moisturizer, when you're removing anything around your eyes, please go in this direction. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know if that's clockwise or anticlockwise. I think it's both. Um, but mm -hmm. this way, okay? So from the outer exterior inwards. Nice. And uh, people do not know that, but it helps so much for wow, your eyes. That's a lot. Because of if you pull it tips. out, you're gonna stretch your skin. And then you're gonna have to get Botox, and no one, no, you don't yeah. need to do that. Wrinkles yeah. are beautiful, guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that is amazing! What amazing tips! Like this is gonna help my young audience so much. Actually. I know. And look at you come so far. I love that. Oh my God, yeah, guys, we we worked together back in the day. Mm -hmm. um, can't talk about can't it. Can't talk about it. Uh, back in the day, and show doesn't you know. exist anymore. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, do you think um, it's changed a lot? Mm, well. This is a new show, yeah. A new season, first season. Yeah. Um, so there's no changes because there's no expectations. Okay. But the best part is that we're breaking all. Um, uh, what is the word? What is that? What is that tagline? Breaking all. Um, stereotypes. Stereotypes. Girl, she's great. You're paying attention. Mm -hmm. Good manager. Um, <laughs> we're breaking all stereotypes this mm. time. All of them. So whatever you thought um, was a supermodel. Oh or a preconceived God. notion of a supermodel we've broken all the stereotypes all the boundaries all the barriers and we're saying look at this point in life you can be whatever you want to be if you work hard and you've got passion and drive honestly what? that's it are you serious so we've got you know wow. um different body types <gasps> um We've always had different skin colors because I whatever. I love that. I yeah, love that. Whatever you're brown, it's oh beautiful. And that is for every show on MTV. Um, and we've got different heights this time, like heights. Yeah, that's what yeah. I feel in life as a model because I tried to be a model and I'm like, dude, I'm 5'7, no one's going to take me. 5'7 um, is good. Yeah, um, but you know, yeah. yeah, I didn't, you know, it wasn't that yeah. good for me. Yeah. Uh, but this is, dude, if. Yeah. You know, it would be amazing for me to like get in now because like no height, come body on. type. Come in, come in. Come in. <laughs> let's do so this. Let's do this, right? So we're, we're just trying to break that. One girl has dreadlocks. I know, um, I massive know. Massive dreadlocks. I saw. 
and that can either be a hindrance if you want it to so I think it's all up to you um, there's this beautiful supermodel in America who has um, a skin disorder I know. and mm -hmm. she's killing it right she's Winnie, her Winnie, Winnie Harlow so I'm just saying that that's just one example of the many 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 um, there's transsexuals Absolutely. there is so many different types of models Absolutely. now and I think um, the word beauty has changed the meaning of the word beauty because it's not I mean no one can pinpoint what beauty is anymore Absolutely. it's you know beauty is in the eye of the beholder so I agree so yeah so we've got all types of girls and we're so excited they're so passionate and it's really nice that you know this is a, a brand new show yep. in the first season but we have girls that are so excited yeah and like really driven I know I mean I, I'm excited for the you're show you're an army kid right no no I thought you were an army nee, kid yeah, no. not me no oh, no no <laughs> just no <laughs> not like that no but amazing I mean I wish I was a part of supermodel ah you can be I'm sure we'll have a season two mm. okay. <laughs> <laughs> but oh my god this is exciting like for me to hear this are is you so married I just got engaged what yeah <laughs> to who to my long lost boyfriend of 10 years. What? Yeah. 10 years? He proposed to me in Santorini. Good Dream. ring though. Oh. Well, oh. if you like it, you should have put a ring <laughs> on it. And he sure did. What's his name? Akil. Good job, Akil. <laughs> 10 points for that. Yeah, was it romantic? It was the I mean, he took best. it in Greece. I think that's pretty romantic. Oh, yeah, it was 10 points. 20. 100. Hundred. It was like a, yeah, yeah, it was just a loan both of us what on does the top he do? of a villa. So he actually builds battery management systems for electric vehicles. So. <laughs> <Okay>. Batteries for <laughs> electric man. vehicles, basically a Tesla. Yeah. Oh, I, now hundred on hundred points. <laughs> So completely green. <laughs> Only if you're gonna hook me up with a Tesla though. Heck yeah. yeah. I have a Raver. Hmm. I'm all about the battery yeah. cars, but like the Raver, so, I swear one bang and I'm dead. So <laughs> we need to get a bigger, sturdier yes. electric car. So he was the brain of the battery. Okay, well, since you are the brain of the battery, <laughs> um, can you hand me a car? <laughs> okay, now. Thank you. He's gonna love this. I will, I will promote you. <laughs> I will tell everyone you're the best battery maker in the world. Think about it. Think about it. Me as your brand ambassador. And I'll say you're romantic. Like I will put in like love school. <laughs> I'll put in like like supermodel of the year. I'll put her in. I'll I'll hook you up, buddy. You know, one an electric vehicle yeah. now, stack. Oh my now, god, I love it. Yeah. So good. I, I loved it. I loved all of this and speaking about the show, this was so refreshing for me because I did not expect this. I didn't know the show had a new pattern, like yeah. the new show had this pattern and of I course. it blows my mind. Because right. I'm all about this. My channel knows and my audience knows I believe in body positivity. Fantastic. I believe in inclusivity, like yeah. all of that. Shouldn't 100%. we all? We should all believe in Absolutely. that now. Absolutely. Um, and the, the, the exciting thing is that I want to tell you guys, and you will be the first to know about this, because it's a top secret, but Karen and I are coming out with our brand. Mm. Um, and we're going to be dropping oh it God. probably in January. Oh my God. I just will tell you it's fashion based we can't okay. tell you what but it's that's it and that's it. super comfy is all i have to say but it's also really inspiring so i'm going to give you the brand name um it's called man up woman up oh so moo moo and uh yeah so uh karen and i are super oh duper excited because we just wanted to make a statement that it's time for everybody to just man up and woman up now. I Whatever's happening in the world, whatever's going down, um, you know, whether it's got to do with the environment, whether it's got to do with the girl child, whether it's got to do with politics, whether it's got to do with our country, our entire universe, we all need to stand up and do something. And so it's time to man up and woman up. Moo woo. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hashtag moo woo. Hashtag moo woo. Oh my, we're excited. We're yeah. excited for this launch. Oh my god. This is going to be a voice. Like, I yeah. love brands that have a voice and yeah. people who believe in so much. Yeah. I think people need to see that, man. Yeah. Like, and we're also, I mean, we also want to make it light too because we, we don't ever want to take ourselves so seriously yeah. and I think a statement is made more when you're more light about it mm -hmm. um, and also trying to get to the point, you know. Mm -hmm. Especially with millennials, if you try to drill it in their heads, they're like, "We don't want to listen to you." Yeah. Um, but if you if you kind of 
ease you it know, in. ease it in, they'll get it. So we're also kind of making fun of our own lives. Um, okay. In the sense that we have sex segments like movie night, airport looks, nice. um, lounge looks, and oh. you know, people are tipped off. The paparazzi is obviously tipped off mm. when people are going to the airport. Mm. So we've got an airport look saying we called the paps. Damn, dude, this is like a fun. Yeah, and then we have stuff time. that says movie nights. This is my debut. Yeah. Oh, so like you know, imagine just a regular Joe. Listen, stop because now come on, Harry. What your brother's name again? Jake. Jake, what if you went to the movies with a sweatshirt that said this is my <laughs> debut? For sure, getting a picture that. Right. Yeah, he's all about the pictures and the gram. And then we have like no photography, please, because you know we don't like piracy. Yeah. We work hard yeah. for that shit. Yeah. You know? so. Yeah. So, no. oh my so, God, so we've got some like really them. fun stuff that you want to wear. I think these people have come to shut us okay, down. Okay, let's go. Anyway, we're almost done. Yeah. I had such a good time. Yeah. I planned questions, but I'm like, oh, I don't shit, want I didn't it. even let you ask No, them. no, these, it covered all of it. It covered every single <laughs> one. And more. <laughs> Okay, go. No, okay. ask me one quickly. Just one what of the mothers the off your back. No, yeah, no. Everything was included. Yeah, Body first. Really everything that I wanted to ask has been asked. But don't you love this little van? I it's love okay. it. We've got positive messages in here, but he's decided to take them down today. <laughs> the, the, the van down that decides whether he wants to pretty it up or not. This is Everyone. the. I know why you are here, cozy. Like I can imagine. Yeah. Like, the whole vibe. The of vibe. It is so oh wait, I want to show you my lunchbox. Passion. This is very important. First of all, no plastic bottles. So absolutely. It's a copper bottle, right? Mm -hmm. it's very important. Don't forget it. Now this is the surprise. Are you ready? Yeah. Damn! <laughs> Reliving all your school dreams of the perfect lunchbox. I oh, mean, and no. also no plastic straws. Metal straws, yeah. Oh my god. Right. Wait, hold on, hold on. Salt and pepper. <laughs> I know! Wait, this is a cutting board. This is so, glasses. You joking with me. This no. is a bottle opener, just in case. You know, I feel like <laughs> drinking one of those old school bottles, and then all the food goes in here. You know? You don't know. Oh. You don't know my secret stash! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I can't stop looking. <laughs> I'm like, how am I going to start? How am I going to start packing also? my... Mm. Do you do use this, this like, all the time? Do you use it? Yeah, yeah, I use this plate. I don't want to use the shoot plate. Mm, yeah. I know that. I know what you mean. products? No, I won't because that's free branding. Are you do now? What is that? I'm crazy. I'll tell you this though. Uh, this is the best uh, heat protectant spray you'll ever use. It's what? called Hot Toddy. Yeah. It's from LA. The Dry Bar. The Dry Bar is mm, amazing. Okay, amazing. so that's one of my favorite things. This is your thing. This is my thing. Mm. But this is just. So like actually, it. if you see this, this, and there's a suitcase where I don't know where it is. Oh, see that silver suitcase? Huh. That's filled with products, and so is that. But this is how much I use. And these are all lipsticks. So if you take these out, because I only use one at a time. Yeah, look at this and... No, so this is actually what I use for makeup. This. These. And let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products. Oh, you use them for So I don't know why we carry so much. <laughs> but I just, know! Just to feel good. <laughs> yeah, just to feel like it's there. Just to feel like oh, it's there. Oh, awesome. This has been so fun. Mm. Look at that. Do, do you take that? Say it with your eyes. Because I say too much with my mouth. Because <laughs> I talk too much. It's basically to just say it with your eyes, Anusha. And now I have to say it with my eyes. Okay, we need to go. That's our cue. Yeah. Bye bye. See you later. Oh. Thanks for coming. Oh, oh, that's so much fun. See you guys. Let's head out, you guys. Come on. She's so sweet. Why is everyone? The energy was so good and oh. I'm so happy you guys like you know She is so, so I can talk to her forever <laughs> Both of them <laughs> She's so like like bubbly and yeah. like you know Wow I'm so excited about this shoot Thank Yay. you I'm so happy I'm so happy that you guys are happy Seriously Of course yeah. Yay <laughs> She made it happen you guys Yeah Amazing Thank you We're done so with the day Yes uh, Same but. with you and Latika Yes we're done with the day. Super, have fun okay. and with anything All right guys, so that was me visiting the supermodel set and now we're heading home. We're done. It was so much fun talking to Anusha and Ujwala. I think they're so good, so good. Such good people, man, genuinely. Like I would tell you, you know. 
they're such good people they're so open so kind so warm and i loved it i loved it i really had no expectations but i'm glad supermodel of the year all the best to everyone who is participating may the best girl win mm, rest of you uh, it doesn't end here look at me life is too long uh, you've got a an entire road ahead of you with maybe different career paths or maybe still in the modeling industry but you know you'll be sad for like a minute like a minute <laughs> and after that life is good again because you have people who love you you have people who accept you you're still the same person you have an entire life ahead of you so don't be uh, down and upset okay just don't let it take over your life make sure you are um, taking yeah make sure you are giving credit to yourself and not basing everything on this one decision okay so yeah that's my take and now we're going to sit and go eat because we haven't eaten anything yeah. we had no we had like a little bit of breakfast <laughs> but i gotta eat we gotta eat why do you have an iphone yo 